Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have another old Windows operating system to look at. This is a cancelled operating system called Microsoft Neptune. So Neptune was originally planned to be the successor of Windows 2000 and the first version of a consumer first consumer version of Windows that was actually based on Windows NT. So this is before XP did that with the home and professional editions. Um, around the time of Windows Me, uh, Windows ME and Windows 2000. So 2000 was the business one, Windows ME was designed for uh, consumers and or Windows Millennium Edition also known as. And this was the first attempt to bring consumers to the 32-bit version of Windows. It was developed in 1999 and then it was cancelled um, around uh, 2000 along with another project called Odyssey which was the business version uh, to give way to Windows Whistler which would become Windows XP uh, later in 2001 and uh, some people still using Windows XP so this was the predecessor to XP essentially uh, where there would be two separate operating systems so the first thing I'm going to say I'm running it here on uh, Hyper-V and I can only get into this 8-bit uh, colour mode um, I couldn't get the full rich colours I did try um, running some importing different uh, VM uh, Hyper-V drivers, video drivers and a lot of blue screens so here we are uh, with the best I can get it so you can notice the welcome screen looks very different to uh, Windows 2000 and looks different to Windows XP as well. You'll see a lot of XP branding in this, you'll also see a lot of Windows Millennium branding. Uh, so I can log in now, I've got this little button here where I can turn it off, if I hold down control it changes and if I hold down shift it also changes there. Let's see, You can choose how you want it to, to uh, shut down. So let's log into this. First thing you'll see is I get some script errors, that's because we're running Windows Active Desktop so active desktop here, you see it looks a bit weird because of the low colour mode but you see now we've got the typical Windows 2000 start button down here it's got the Neptune branded on there but this is a web page so I can actually, you see I've actually customised this as well so this is the desktop, you see it's got the Millennium branding on there but this is a web, a web page and I can do that and so this is Active Desktop. So introduced in Win Windows Millennium, oh, I think 98 actually had it as well. Um, but yeah, there you go. So this is the Active Desktop Outlook Express 5 there. And the idea with this is you could have web pages that would remain static and open. And if I fire it Explorer, I can show you some more. So here in the Windows NT folder, I'm just still called Windows NT, you can see these activity folders and there's all sorts of different activities that would be rendered as, des as um, your desktop using a HTML engine. So if I go to the game one I can show you what it, it would have looked like if run call home. Oh there's the games one. So you would see your most recent games and that would be an activity and I can actually add this. So there's display properties, I go to web you can see I've got that, I can have a new one, I can put a, a link in there, that could be an actual internet page as well, not just local content, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, I can apply that. So in a minute that will load up with that games one. See there was a music one as well, let's try that. There's the music one. So this would be, a, again, the desktop, so not running the browser. Let's see if that is activated. There we go. So I can resize that if I can get the grab handles. There we go. It probably looked a lot better when it was in the full color mode. Uh, but you, these are set. So these are the they are called activities. So you you guess you would go from one to the other. So I can close that one, and I could even have a web page. Now web pages don't render very well because we're using. I think this is IE five, five five. 
Hey, I got Internet Explorer 5. Branded as 5.5. So let's say I swap these around and show my current home page. There's another view of it because that's my current home page. Now, some pages work and some pages don't, so let me see if this works. So it's actually downloading it. That's interesting. We'll see what that looks like in a minute. Ah, oh, there we go. I can't. Not everything, like I said, not everything works on this. So let's delete that. We could go for the MSN homepage, which I do seem to remember working. I'm thinking about it. So, a lot of the, f this was not feature complete when they cancelled the project. Uh, I could do Winver as well, I can show you the build number, so there you see it's branded as Windows 2000. Um, there are some little hi hidden gems in it. So there's some control panel items that um, don't actually show up if you're in uh, through the UI. If you do this control panel item, this user manager, you get to see this new user based manager that you doesn't like any other ones. It's perhaps what you would uh, you can see in kind of later versions of this in XP. But here you can you can create accounts. Uh, so I can create a new account and you can assign a picture to an account. Uh, and this is classed as a child account. So child account have parental controls, restricted access. So it's kind of that. So uh, you could be the owner, you could be an adult, you can be a child, and that's like parental controls, which is not something that was in Windows 2000. So um, you can see where they're kind of going with that. Some other things that are in here, some that I can show you, some I can't. Windows um, update was actually in this, believe it or not. Um, a proper version of Windows update. So some other things that this had like a proper version of Windows update. I, I ran it once. It gave me the option of uh, have it automatic update, and then it won't run again. I guess that's because it, it's now set. So I can't uh, show you what the UI looks like on that. Another feature that came in later versions of Windows is firewall. So there was no firewall or anything like that in Windows 2000. Windows XP does have a firewall and this is the first UI you get for that there. So you can enable a firewall so that uh, in services are exposed to external like they would be in Windows 2000 where everything's open. It would be the same as you firewall off, but this was an early sign of it. Not much UI apart from that. Okay, there we've got um, some MSN page working. So let's now see if we can have that as our background. So what it's actually doing is downloading the page and the content here so effectively you can use it offline and then when you go back online it then updates it and that was the idea with active desktops. So I think Windows 98 uh, one of the IE4 integration pack introduced this idea. It wasn't very popular and uh, didn't get very far. I think you can still see remnants of that with things like the view channels program. I should say as well this build is from December 1999 build 5111. There were going to be three editions of this as well entry level, standard and high end. So I'm going to leave that running because I have no idea how long that's going to take if it'll ever work. So okay that. So let's see the shutdown options. So here's the shutdown screen. So this project, like I said, the project was cancelled. It then became uh, it, Windows XP was the project that Microsoft worked on. And we all know the history of that. So thanks for watching this video of this uh, cancelled operating system from uh, 1999. You can see how I use Hyper-V to get the operating systems up and running on another video on our YouTube channel and I've also got a video of Longhorn which is another cancelled project from Microsoft that was pre-Vista. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.